You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. Oh, in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for X Factor. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest X Factor news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for X Factor. Hey, y'all, and welcome to After Buzz X Factor Season 1. This is Top 11. We've got Marcy Smith, JC, Ronnie Jr., Jesse Janity over there in the DJ booth, as always, kicking it. Um, you missed it. We were all like busting out laughing, doing this stupid dance before um, we went on air. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> mm-hmm. I call it daily life. I'm we sorry. We get excited because this show is exciting. Yes. Okay. Um, I never thought that uh, I could actually sit through another two hours of this show, which, by the way, it did start off Stop. slow, right, Marcy? It did. It started off slow. It ended is that, slow. Is that like the intro? Because they like spend too much time telling what you what you've already seen. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. kind of why. Well, this week was a little different because they they started with the open for Jack and Jill, so it was a total plug for the Adam Sandler movie. Mm, that placement. Okay, yeah. let's just jump right into that. Okay, so they start the show. Oh my gosh, we're getting these kids ready for Hollywood. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, let's show them on the red carpet talking to Adam Sandler. Plug number one. <laughs> number two. Let's show about every single scene with Adam Sandler and Jack and Jill. Okay, like, I'm, I, I have to look this up, because it just bugs me. It's like, okay, we get it, you know, and then they start showing commercials of Jack and Jill after, <laughs> you know, when the commercial break comes on. So, I mean, honestly, this is all tied in and it's, intertwined. It's overdone, and, yeah. But I, am, but I am so excited that the kids got to, like, really experience a red carpet event, because I know that all of y'all, all of y'all have been on a red carpet, right? Yeah. Okay. Maintenance. It, what was your <laughs> yeah, right, JC? Inter- I mean, you work you work very hard. <laughs> Good job, brother. Oh, uh, we we love you. We love you, JC. Hey, I'm, I'm just happy to be in the big chair now. I was on the couch last week. <laughs> you were in Tokyo. You joining us. So for all of you that aren't watching us right now, JC has been on the couch for the past two weeks, I think, or just last week. Last week, earning my oh, stripes. <laughs> Honey, you earned them last week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I almost came over and jumped in your lap. You earned them so much. Mm-hmm. It was that kind of show. It was. <laughs> I think we have a spinoff. Oh, <laughs> JC and Cat make it out on the couch. Just kidding. Okay. All right, so um, let's jump right in. But I mean, uh, yeah, we we did see a lot of the Jack and Jill stuff at the very beginning. But um, and we, oh, we have to announce who got kicked off last week. Oh, intensity. Your favorite. Um, guess who, uh, she's not here tonight, but Jessica King. And she actually wanted me to make sure. Oh, she to did? tell you guys. Uh-huh. She I'm said, sure make she sure did. when you, when you t- see everybody go like this. Intensity! <laughs> Intensity. <laughs> okay, let's give Jessica Spirit some love. Fingers. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Intensity! Intensity. Did you see that, Jessica? I hope you did. <laughs> and if you didn't, rewind. Because um, she hated them. I know. Yeah. She didn't stand up. <laughs> but that's okay, because... You know, the saddest part for me when, because did y'all watch them last week when they were going to die? Yeah. Holy God. Oh I was God. like, get over it, you're, you're, though. Your heart, they're, they're your heart like, was into it? Like, 12. They're going to they be fine. Crying. They'll oh, be I, on I, I, yeah, girl, I moved on, really. I, it was like me too. sad. You guys, time. you guys have no heart. No, yeah, absolutely. Have no heart. Ever. Yeah, no, I was just zero. like, <laughs> get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Get no, the it. little girl, the the little ringlets, and oh, she was She crying. has the most oh, chance out of anybody. And I'm sorry, yeah. does she have rent due on Monday? Like, you know, it's <laughs> like, exactly. I'll, I'll be, thank she you. will be fine. High five, Ronnie, high five. Oh. Yes, yeah. thank you. That was Fist good. Right. That was good. <laughs> you know, I, I agree, I agree, but like, it's hard because, I mean, they, they were a group. They were like one, and it's, they're, it's so passionate. It's not like you're just one solo person it's like one little girl cries the other one's gonna cry too you know what i mean it's like a chain reaction but yeah. look hey, those kids are gonna be fine yeah they're fine showbiz yeah. is rejection so she'll be that she taught she learned it. something yeah exactly yeah. yeah 
Mm-hmm. So, okay, so Paula. We're going to start with Paula tonight. Oh, obviously, because right. we just want to get through those groups. <laughs> I'm teasing. I love, I love Dakota Rain. <clears throat> it's funny you say that actually because we're gonna say I know it for it's the Lakota. End. I'm not oh, that old. We're gonna say yeah. this for the end, but <laughs> this is how well do you know your Lakotas and in your case Dakotas. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the, you had a homework project? Like what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I was busy there? watching Low Wolf. See, we let him come on the table, he takes <laughs> The, I the first week he was up. locked outside. Second week he was on the couch, and now he's in here, and he's, he's going for the gold. I'll tell you, you give me an inch, and I take, I'll take Lakota. There we go. No, I'm, I'm going to quiz you at the end. So we're going to see if you know who you're, all you guys, if you know who your Lakota people are. I only care about the brunette, but okay. Well, she's 17, so careful. Is she now? I did my research. See, he, okay, you, you got a few months, man. Hold on a second. I didn't know we had any research for today. I would have done it. I would have won the quiz. I don't have quiz. any friends, so it's just Oh, my God. Okay, fine, this whatever. Fun. This was fun for him. Well, since I'm the host of tonight, <laughs> I don't have to play because I make the rules. Mm-hmm. Can I not play, too? Yes, Marcy, because okay. she's the only other girl. <laughs> so no. Jessica at home out there, yeah. could you please call in? If you're Thank you very much. Call in. Yeah. Yeah. Support yes. us. This gives us a reason to get a phone call. Save the new guy. JC, JC. Okay. Get us stuck in this shit. <laughs> okay, let's get, let, let's move on to Lakota Rain. Mm-hmm. All right, so they um actually they did just pick one girl tonight, so they're probably going to keep on like picking one other person to 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 tell their background story and yada yada. It did, and that Who worked. was the girl tonight? Was it Carrie? Oh God, come on! Did so, that did that okay. work better for them? How I mean, well do you know your well, Lakota? It is Carrie Fletcher, okay. who is seventeen from. I believe it is um, Jersey. Jersey. Oh, there we go. See? I listen. See? I listen. Mm-hmm. There I we go. So, so all you need to know are the other three. But we'll get to that later. What did right. you guys think of the song? What did you think? The song was, this was their best performance. Um, okay, you're talking to the country girl over here. Yaha. Okay, first of all, they picked a song from my favorite, one of my favorite movies. How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. All right, have y'all seen that? <laughs> yes. I with with uh, I mean, I with Kate not. Hudson. What? You have oh, to see oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Come yeah, on. Yeah. And I our, mean, it was, and Heidi yeah. McFarty, like I did know. see it. Yeah. Um, and uh, they sang um, some uh, "To Love Somebody Like You" by Keith Urban. It was good. It was really. You, good. you guys were telling me that they are just all now encompassing country. That's where they're going to go. And they That's their lane, and, and it's obviously like way better, right? They were better this week, and they looked amazing. Well, they did, and I, okay. Under at 18, first, I was like, okay, so this one. Well, at first, I thought I wanted outfit. one of the girls' outfits. I was like, I could wear that. She did. She actually said the one that. In the brown jacket was that the one. The brown jacket and the little shorts. I think and the boots? it's like from BB. Mm, I don't know why. I super know that. cute. Yeah. But what I really liked is this: is everyone had their individuality, but it was white. And the brown suede, and then their little bit of turquoise. I love turquoise. I don't know. Raise your hand if you love turquoise. I know I do. But, I mean, it was Screaming Country. But I I thought that this is where they need to be. They kind of reminded me of Dixie Chicks plus the brunette. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Skinnier and prettier. Yeah. I I thought L.A. Reid had the best quote. You are my favorite girl group in this competition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, that, because that, they're the only that's, one. That's yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. jacked up. He's like, let me give you a compliment. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. candy compliment. L.A. Reid um, was pretty tough on everybody tonight. If, if uh, to say to say in in the whole realm, like he was pretty much saying, yeah, uh, you were okay. You were this. Uh, Simon, he kept on ragging on Simon the whole time. I did think a lot of people were just okay though, but Lakota Rain was better than they ever have been. Mm. Yeah, did they, and they didn't well, dance or anything. It was just all they never danced. They yeah. don't need rhythm. Yeah, right. no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. They don't. Even, they don't need to dance. You stand even and look pretty. Even when they walk down together, I was like, oh, they're gonna do something. No, they couldn't even walk together. It was yeah, yeah. No. How about I, their camaraderie? I mean, we've kind of wondered at the beginning where they gonna be girls and not get along but maybe they might be gelling a little bit now which is great because they don't know each other from from nothing outside of the audition well first yes you're right and i felt i felt like at first oh they're individuals they want to be a solo artist but I now i feel that way you do yeah well i, I feel i, was, I feel I that way about dun, da, 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 danny danny <laughs> danny oh, oh cuz I, I know which one that was. she's one of the big eyes she's, she's the from that... california okay uh huh see i know a little bit about these girls <sighs> this game is ending quickly <laughs> 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 right. But no, um, and and Danny, if you're watching our lovely After Buzz show, I have there's nothing I have nothing against you. I just feel like you want to be a solo ar- artist, and that's it. Uh, this was the one with the, the bangs yes. and the short hair, a long no, hair. No, she's the blonde Angelina Jolie yes. looking. Oh, okay, the big, yeah. with the big eyes and lips. Okay, gotcha. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Um, so anyway, I felt like tonight they showed up. Um, I, I guess they're going to keep on doing country. They um, should. That's a good lane for them. Um, Simon, pretty much. You know, trumped Ellie Reed tonight because there was a moment where Ellie Reed's like, 
Okay, about Drew, and I'll jump to that really fast, and we'll go back to um, Stereo Hawks. But he's like, I want to see Drew do something new. I want to see her do jump out of her, you know, her comfort zone. Well, you know what? Simon goes, uh, this is an X Factor show. This is, who is this artist? How are they going to sell their records? Who are they? And I just feel like, why Why is he contradicting? And then Astro is the same type of situation. He sings the same thing every single time. Okay, yeah. but he's like, you know, a rapper. And there's there's nothing else really he can do. Well, is it too early to go into saying that, that just about every act has done just about the same, except for Rachel Crow. They've all, like, slow stayed with slow you know, up, upbeat stayed with upbeat. You know, it never they have they aren't showing that range that yeah. we, that I want to that we all yeah. want to see. So, yeah. Well, okay. Speaking of range, um, do you think that the Stereo Hogs gave us range tonight? I, I mean, think their song choice sucked. It yeah. did. I mean, why would you see yeah. Kristen Aguilera ain't no other man? You're men. <laughs> Thank you. I was very, me. I mean, even with the lyric changes, it was yeah. just like. This is I awkward. wanted to see them do because of the dancing and showing the performance aspect. I want to see them do like new edition. I think that would yes. be very fun. They could even slow it down. They could do half of uh, what is it? Is it uh, if it is, is a love? It, it is and a then love. go to the um, yeah. can't stand the what is the slow song called? Can't like kind of mix the two of those would be yeah. re- would be really yeah. it's close enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see Mister Telephone Me. <laughs> okay, all of it. Yeah, all of it. Really, I think that's something they should totally do and get everyone's. You know, or Chris uh, Brown, or that's Usher, even yeah. or even Jason Derulo. I, I didn't even like, like that just... Christina Aguilera song to begin with. Like as as her. Like I was. Yeah, I didn't even like it on her either. I, I mean, it. you know what? I love the video. The video is hot. Mm-hmm. I, I, why, video? why did I grab? Oh, I'm gonna remember the why did I grab I, know, I, was my like, phone? I was like, you were gonna call her because you're gonna show us. Hi, no. hi, Christina. We <laughs> love your. We're talking about you. <laughs> I just got my new iPhone, but I I used I used to have two videos. Don't laugh. You had that? Phone, I had that one and Britney Spears. Okay, Slay Britney, any, you. oh, girl. Uh-uh. Britney, I anything. Inspiration, I that video, <laughs> hot. JC, I know you've seen Slay For You video. Yeah, you could say I know the dance a little bit. <laughs> oh, Slay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the sauna one, right? The, yes. Oh, 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 hat. oh, nobody has missed, no one, no, nobody missed that beat. Guaranteed that way everyone's on. My, <laughs> form, my yes, formative Marcy. years were built on that song, yeah. so we'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, so Stereo Hogs, they were in the bottom two last week, and they actually got kept by the judges. Um, what do y'all think about this week? Do you think they're going to stay? I think they did a performance that was necessary for them because, you know, America gets to see, oh, wow, you know, they're in the bottom. And you guys all, right, it's the voting that counts half, how, do they, how are they breaking yeah, that down? The, the, the bottom, bottom two, two it, they yeah, have to perform it, it's, again. It's such that element where people were like, get to choose I those. feel like it was one of those elements where people were like, oh, they're so good. We don't have to vote for him. So I, being on the bottom is actually really good for them, you know, and they had to have a bring it kind of performance. It wasn't maybe their best, but I think I they thought it was great. I mean, their performance them. is always good. Yeah. Like anybody that can do choreography downstairs and not fall. I, it was. Yeah. And I, like, I, I like their suits. I'm <laughs> their sorry, suits just, were great. That's what I look at. No, they, they looked guy. amazing. I have to say something because I'm a dancer. So did you notice this? <laughs> So, I mean, everyone needs to be in sync. If you're going to be in sync, be in sync. Like, the two two other guys in the back were doing their thing, and then the other two in the front were doing the spin and the splits, and they were uneven, and I was like, wait a second. Nope. I caught one of that. I I caught it. No, but I caught the moment. I'm all the general public (laughs) missed. No, I caught it, but it was with their mics. I'm so bad. I catch that stuff. I'm a little ODD, or OCD. OCD. You have have invented your own (laughs) JC vernacular. He's our After Buzz exclusive, ODD. (laughs) Oh, do not go. You're not competitive in the call in your book of quotations. Oh, hell no. Excuse me. You're magic. You are two words. Magic. I'm going to um, by the I'm words lying. of the famous Nicole Slacker for Harris. <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you pronounce her last name, y'all? Sure singer. Sure singer. Sure singer. Sure, singer. sure she's zinger. a singer. Sure she's a singer. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh wow. <laughs> that was deep, like a bucket. Nice. Oh, nice. Like a chicken fried wow. chicken. It's like all going down. <laughs> God. I swear I'm this falling. is just blueberry tea. I swear. Um wow. so anyway, let's uh move on to Nicole's people since we can't stop talk, uh, talk about Nicole. So her first person of the night and the first singer of the night was Stacy Francis. Mm. And Stacy Francis saying, um, Queen of the Queen Night. Of you called it, Marcy. You called it. And uh, from Bodyguard, who doesn't love that movie and that soundtrack, which, by the way, hello, why didn't you sing Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You? Duh. Because that's you her. Were, 
killed that. She would have killed that. She would have no easily. Yeah, it's too I mean, safe. I would have gone with Run to You. I mean, I used to kill that. Song I would have gone with like, anything but Queen of the Night for her. Anything, but see, here's the thing. La Reid wrote it. Duh. And ne- secondly, wrote it. this is one of my favorite comments. Ellie Reed's like, um, even though I wrote this song, I don't really like it. And I thought that was a bad song. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> because that's the third, well, the third best song right. of the entire soundtrack. Why didn't you pick this? She said, because I, I wanted to dance. And she starts like doing this like thing. I'm like, no, no, no. Wait, and did you call her a Jolly Rancher? Yeah. She's that's, increasingly yeah. getting more weird by every what was it, What Her forehead, what was happening? She it was needs the to five have head. bangs all the time. She, she needs bangs well, see, all the time. Okay, okay, so here's the thing. Ken Pavez... Paves, was that his name? Ken Paves? Yes. Paves? Oh, I thought it was like a Paves. Paves. Yes. Mm. Anyway, that's, if anyone doesn't know who that is, that is Jessica Simpson's hairdresser. Right. Now, Se- Jessica Simpson and Ken Paves, they, they, I, there's different ways to say it. They combine. <laughs> potato, <laughs> potato, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I'm going to say that one time. I they combine their, 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 um, their blonde hairs together and they made bangs so you can go out and buy bangs for your foreheads so they he works in the show he's doing everyone's hair he's down he jacked her up he didn't put no bangs on her he should have she needed them bad mm-hmm. i still think the dress i think she looked like a fruit roll up just the dress was just like well, very tight and... did you hear what simon had to say about her you don't yeah. want to roll that he goes, I, mean, I don't see this on this show i see that somewhere else so he <laughs> oh, that's right he's sending he her to that. another she network did. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, not even a network, right? Yeah. Okay, right. But what network. did you think about the cupcake. song? Yeah, what did you gotcha. guys think about the song itself? We said she sucked. I hate it. Well, that whole performance was just not th- good for me. It's it's a Whitney Houston song that only Wait, Whitney what was Houston she, has ever what was sang. That dance it. she was doing. I'm the queen of the night. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like but, it was all bad. It was so bad. Don't dance. Don't dance. No, just Move. stand there. Groove it. Carrie Underwood. Shake the leg. Shake the leg. <laughs> shake the hip. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Work it. Work it. Don't don't do anything else. Don't get in a cage either. Mm. And she did that too tonight. Yeah, oh she God, was bad. And I thought she had performance experience. So what's what's happening really? Cracking under pressure. I think we're just giving hater aid tonight, guys. Weird. I think we need to soften. You know why we're getting hater aid tonight? Good. Why? Because the show started off so slow and then it got better and then it went back to like, oh my God, I'm biting my nails. Okay, I'll give yeah. Okay. okay. Right. I just thought bit. she sucked. Well, <laughs> and you've been, you've been consistent with it. You've not been filling her for a while. So, no. yeah, well, yeah. that's good. Here's She's the thing. not allowed me. We gotta, some people got to suck now because we have to start doing all this thing down. Not everybody can win the X Factor. It is one person that's going to get that $5 million and that Pepsi commercial. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. I moving have on. have the best <laughs> imitation of you. Oh, of who? <laughs> you. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. No. This is not good. It's turning into I a s- roast. <laughs> Oh God! That's no, I went home. My my roommate's Mia. I don't know if some of you know her. Jessie, I know does. She does uh, Glee. And oh, for I've After Buzz. It. Okay. And so she was like, "How was your show?" Da, 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 da. And so I was like, "Oh, we have this new girl." Or well, you're not new, but <laughs> she hosts. <laughs> I was like, "Her name's Cat." And then I went straight into your accent. You did not. Girl. It's a fun line. I was like, <laughs> what? What? "How am I?" My name's Kat, and hey, y'all. that's good. Hey, Mars. y'all, and then and once you lock in, Kat, we were talking about the X Factor, and then like, <laughs> listen, I'm a country girl. The like. demon has been exercised. <laughs> I think I'm getting red in here, guys. Where's my powder, like, powder, Jesse? Powder. Like she's super adorable, and I just sometimes <laughs> I just won't talk like her for like no reason. <laughs> that is good. All afternoon, I was talking like. This. Are you are you from the south? No. Where would you have any relatives from the South? No, girl, I'm from Colorado. Oh my lord, I mean, she's got a good ear. Then <laughs> pretty soon, this one over here is gonna be saying, "Y'all." I, I once I start, I can't it's stop. Just too. So easy to fall mm-hmm. into it. Yeah, it is. I refuse. Yeah. <laughs> you know you want to try it. Oh. I do. <laughs> <laughs> He's got too much focus on his arts and crafts. I'm not over even here. doing this anymore. <laughs> I love it. And by the way, I have no idea who Haley and I can't see the other name. Hey, Maria Menounos' book is in the way. <laughs> by the way, if you have never picked now. up this book, it's Every Girl's, Girl's Guide, Guide to, to Life, life yeah. by Maria Menounos, mm-hmm. um, go pick it up because uh-huh. it was it is still a number one bestseller. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have a job nor a girlfriend, but when I read the book, I still don't have either, but it was a good read. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. I like that plug, JC. That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm like, maybe you should stop making these and focus on some other things. Speaking of... Of a guide it's turning to life. Into a, a life lesson. Excuse me, excuse me. Speaking of guide to life, I mean, I think that we should ask Leroy Bell 
how the heck he stays that oh pretty. Oh my God, he looks amazing. He looks better each week, and I'm telling you. His little style was so cute this I week. Love Wasn't him. it the same, though, kind of? No. no. No, he looked like a thousand percent better. Funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it L Leroy or Leroy? Leroy. Is Where I come Leroy? from. I thought it was Leroy. There's Leroy. I'm the the sure sheriff Leroy. of my town is named Leroy. Okay, <laughs> so that's all I They've see. They've been calling him Leroy, but then again, that's Steve, uh, the Where host. Where are you so. from? Mississippi. <laughs> Maybe someone can call in to let us know how to pronounce his name correctly. That'd be great. <laughs> no, I heard it. Bell. Listen, I hear it when they say it you on X Factor. I do. I hear it. But I don't like to say it like them because it doesn't make me individual. So there's two different two different ways to say things in life. There's the normal way, or there is Cat Bale this way. <laughs> well, Leroy, I've never heard of Leroy. No, it's Leroy Bale. Leroy. Oh, see, I can't do it. Try you just it, did it. Try it. I did go. It. Yeah. Leroy, Leroy Bale. Leroy Bale. That's it. That's how you gotta do it. So what'd you guys say? Leroy Bell. <laughs> that's, got more, that's got a better ring to it. <laughs> Leroy Bell. Yeehaw. Okay. He was Yeehaw. boring. Um, he's saying... Um, still haven't found what I'm looking for. God, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. What movie is that from, people? I don't know what movie. It's, it's you too, correct? No. Don't no? know. Is it? Is that yeah, you yeah, too? Yeah, 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 yeah that is. Too, but I don't know what movie it's from. I just thought, you know what? The production was too big for the song. Yeah. You know, it was just too Agreed. much. I just thought he was boring. I, I think he looks great. And he should be in somebody's ad for some anti-aging something. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he just. He's like your Lakota Rain. Like you'd watch him on mute and you're like, hey, you look good. But, you know, don't yeah. really want to listen to him. I well. Mean, it wasn't even that. I was just. And he hasn't, he hasn't been pulling he his weight the last the couple. He doesn't have the X Factor for me. It was know? from Runaway Bride. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Paula's quote. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, she's like, mm -hmm. I have been waiting for this. Mm -hmm. She says, America, quote unquote, has found what they are looking for. <laughs> Who said this so dramatic? Who is this? Paula. This is Paula. She was making a no oh, pun gosh. intended about like, the so song. Funny. She went to the school of Nicole on that quote. They, yeah. Ooh, like Sorry. a, like a, like a. Nicole, y'all, come on. She's got the, she's got her, um, she's already seen rehearsals. Come on, we all know this. No surprise. And she's like, oh, okay. This is what I'm going to say for this person right here. And I memorize, I memorize. And she's like, get all deep. Okay, I'm going to focus. I'm going to say my one liner and that's it. And then she's like, looks over the side. I felt time. the same thing while I was watching. I was like, I wonder so... if she rehearsed it, you know. And when the just... camera's on, on her, when <laughs> everyone performs, she's the one who's like, <sighs> like she's shaking and her, pray, is... like praying. And... Oh, no. Oh, no, the ring. The ring, this ring she had on today, it was like... Oh, it took, it a, took up her whole finger. It was cool, though. Yeah. It was cool, but let me tell you something. She must have just been promoting. It was her... Was it her... This one? I don't forget. I'm not going to flip anybody off. I <laughs> but it, it was, was like... One. It was like this. I'm like, every time she talked, she was like that. I mean, I know I talk with my hands, too, but I don't know. I thought it was in her face. Ring, ring, ring. Um, oh, okay. So, anyway, what did y'all think about... Leroy again. It's it's been weeks of being kind of boring. It's been the nostalgia's over. The old man is in the competition, but ready I, to go. He I was, was better. Wrong. I thought he was better than last week. Me too. I did. I really I thought think he, he was I think he kept himself in this week. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. I was wrong last week. I said he No, no, no. I he said Chris Renee or Leroy was going. Yeah, I said Leroy. I have still put Chris Renee over him, but Oh, but every time. So he's he's Everything. got a, he's got at least a, a safe week. No, he's going to be like on K Big or something. He's going to be like the you biggest know, artist I mean, on Adult Contemporary. Oh, you're, you're right. They could package him in a certain you know, way, but for the competition, he's jazz he, festival. He, yeah, he'd fit right in there. <laughs> jazz festival. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of jazz festival, Stage let's go on two. to Josh, Crayjack. Josh. Oh, oh, this is the no smoker, yes. no drinker. You guys see on TMZ I don't give week? a care. I'm going to wear a belt and have my stomach hang over. The guy. doctor the and lap. Nicole were like, you have to stop drinking and smoking. Your voice is going to crap. Gosh, and he sang the I Wonder Years song, which was so fun. Yeah, that was amazing. He sang um, Final Little Help for my friends, Joe Cocker. And he killed it. He did. Mm -hmm. and um, but I, so? But I... I d vocally, I didn't like the first half of the song. Just like what Simon said when okay. I was listening to it, it wasn't one hundred percent for me. No, I thought the second half was better. I thought for a man who me. drinks and smokes that much, he killed it. <laughs> well, first of all, yeah. I got I have Give a question. A do you think that like he'd have that voice if he didn't do that, or you know what I mean? Like if he wasn't a drinker smoker, like do you think he'd have that raspiness that, that he well, has? I think that's his timber. I mean, of his voice. You know what I mean? Like it probably just it probably just accentuates it a little yeah. bit. But anyway, I don't care. I want to buy his album when it comes out. I do. He and didn't look so dirty this week. Like 
No, he didn't. Yeah. I still, I don't know. Yeah. He's just. He's got some. He's got some skin issues. Yeah. He's. He's. he's <laughs> they, they're using proactive. They did a really working. close up, and it was yeah. So yeah, it was. You can't get rid of acne in like three weeks. Proactive mm. is amazing. Proactive is amazing. But I don't even think he wants to change. Like that's a fine. That's a that's a look for him, and he is set and he's good. If anything, he loses twenty pounds. That's it. He needs to. He doesn't <laughs> need. To. He does not. He's not a teeny. No, bob. but he's twenty not a pounds throb. is not a lot. Lot. When he's you're the really Justin big, Bieber of over thirties. But when you're really big, twenty pounds will you only. Know, it'll still make. He'll still be. Did thick. you see his belly? He's not on a Ruben Stutter. <laughs> but did you see his belly on top of the belt? Oh, that was bad. That bad outfit choice. It's not belly factors. X factor. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm just saying. Burr, burr. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I feel like the, the dancers that were like. It was weird. <laughs> Touching themselves, and they were in purple. That was weird. It was just, it was creepy. I would have just ran Wonder Years clips right behind me, that would been in pictures of myself. I don't know, something does, different. Does he um, play the guitar? I forget. I don't think does so. He? I don't I hope, think I hope I don't so. With the belly? No, so. <laughs> you were stuck on the belly. <laughs> True. You're just shooting darts. <laughs> I know. Oh, my I'm God. I'm a dart shooter. I can't help Woo! it. Sorry. Well, I think that I'd love to see him either on a piano or with a guitar by himself. Or a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie! I love you. I've seen I it. am an overweight human you. being. No, I get, not. I get no. the weight thing. I can talk all I want you about the weight thing. No, he is not. No, you're not. I am all about it. You might it. have a few extra pounds, but mm-hmm. you are not overweight. Mm-hmm. 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 Cut back on that pizza that was out there. Anyway. Um, <laughs> no, he's a good performer. He's a good performer. He's cool. He's okay. He's, yeah, and he's strong. He's He'll be fine next week. He's going to be have better performances. Six more weeks. Guaranteed. Six, seven more weeks. He's going down to final four. Three, two. He'll be there. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of showing up tonight and blowing me away, I was like, whoa, shut the front door and the back door. No, front and back. Okay. Marcus Canty. But we've liked Marcus Canty, though. Okay. He's Nikki. the young usher. We love it. It's uh, fun. Mm-hmm. Nicole just, had two words for him, though. Yeah. <laughs> go, go ahead. You say it. You say it. Go ahead, Marcy. It was magic. <laughs> What's wrong I'm with sorry, this? last time I checked the dictionary, magic was one word. One word. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe two syllables. Two syllables. I guess that's what it's like when you're from Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Not Mississippi. Actually, I just wrote down. We know how to spell Mississippi, even though they say we're like the most. No, I'm not even going to say it. Do it. <laughs> I won't say it. Do it. She just took on a you whole state. I go after people. She took on a whole state. You took us to the ledge, so you just left us there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go, cat. I, I go, girl. <laughs> Come on, I love this out. I wouldn't make fun of nobody. But um, I thought that this boy, Marcus Canty, um, he is truly a star, and I feel like he's gonna grow in this competition. Agreed. Mm-hmm. He's just got a butter face. Yeah. <laughs> he got some lips, and I'm sure all those little girls in America want to kiss those lips. I mean, they are big and juicy. I don't know that he's an attractive looking dude in that sense. He's I not. think people like but him. He's super I think talented. it's the when, when he did Bobby Brown last week. It was you know he he rocks the stage. I don't know, if Marcus. Gets... You're genial. You're good looking. Don't don't let them don't let them sway you, man. You're no, all right. Your man. talent will make you you're ride. Good. Girls are stupid. They they'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. And yeah, when wait you a beco- second. Y- you'll be talented. When you become that rich, star, it's all good. It's, it's, Girls it's, don't it's, care. Yeah, now that's what I'm waiting. Now I'm trying to get rich. That's that's my yeah. thing. These know? days, anytime anyone is get is is uh, considered good looking, it's oh he has swagger. So they're gonna start saying he, he has does. swagger. So he he totally does. Yeah, I'm just really sick of that. He word. sang yeah. the shit out of the song. I wrote that. I literally that's what I wrote. He did. Oh, bye. I didn't even know those riffs. I'm like, where'd that come from? Did he make that up? Um, I felt like he was going down. You know, like when he was the, singing it. Oh, oh, okay. Everything came off. The wow. jacket. Oh, I loved it when he threw down that mic stand. <laughs> no, no, and the poor guy with the ja- the jacket, the jacket wouldn't come off. And he's like, I'm going down. I know. I know. He was going Wardrobe down. Wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, wow. Exactly. <laughs> um, but he was oh, wait, good. Back he was to really the good, good looking factor in the X factor. There's not a single guy. Except no, for the they're six all kind of busted. So here's the thing. Who's the cutest? Marcus Canty or Astro are the only cute well, boys. I, I hope people aren't looking I mean, at a fourteen-year-old little kid named Astro. I mean, well, no, no, no. I'm talking about aesthetically. What, like Josh? None is, of them. Is rough. Um, Actually, I would say Mark, not Marcus. What's that dude's name? R- Renee. I'm going with Steve Chris. Jones, the host. Chris has more of a look than yeah. the other two. Yeah. 
I know. Yeah. We don't want to admit it, but he does. No, no, no. He I really know he does. does. I like his little Eminem it, but, look. And it does develop. You know, Marcus will get better looking to a No, degree. he yeah. won't. You can't no, I this take off his America's lips top or, model no, all of a I sudden. Mean, Elongate his face. No, I mean, like, like, in the sense that he's the, he's the star and people will gravitate towards him more. It's like Melanie. Melanie's not good looking, but I, I'm actually... You know, like, Usher has that nose. Uh, is Mick Jagger good looking? Oh, and Usher has a crooked head. Like, he's you know, like, and everybody yeah. thinks he's just... And he's, he's That's got what great I'm pictures so, where he looks fine. I know. Like, Melanie, I'll watch, and I'm like, I know she's not really good looking, but every time she's up there, I'm like, oh my God. I'm kind of getting hot and bothered for Melanie. And first styles that girl. Styles so her, her makeup, I, her everything. hair. Okay, it's a conspiracy on the set because whoever is doing <laughs> her body right, like to make sure the, you know, pushed in Our the right. Jack way. and Rachel every time. Uh, yeah, are messing up with Stacy. So Stacy got they, Stacy. they they putting oh, her yeah. they putting yeah. her in costumes and they are accentuating the the bad. Dude, Melanie's getting the hookup. Like it's she just, is because you look at her in the previous in the package and you're like, oh. That's, Do y'all oh. not think that she's like? Mariah Carey straight hair. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Every time no. I look I at her, that, I said that last week. It's just her mannerisms per se. Really? I feel. I feel like her essence is kind of like a Mariah-ish. little, but I'm not. No, we, you know, we just got off subject. <laughs> we're on Marcus. Oh, sorry, Marcus. <laughs> okay, we're kidding. done with Marcus. We're done with Marcus. But no, Marcus, he was great. He's saying I'm going. I'm going down. But and it was from the car wash. From I the, think. Mo- the movie. The car, car wash. Really and um, it may be Rolls Royce. Sure. L. A. Reed said he, you. Marcus are a massive star. That is, no one's ever said that on this show. So I think this one's going to be hard to beat at this point in the competition. And he's just so likable. I he's, think he's he, really likable. He's got that, you know, He's like, perfect, what, 19, 20 or something, 18? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's got the perfect age. I feel like the blogs are going to start really, like, you know, pumping him. So he'll be, yeah, he'll be good. Yeah. Even Simon said he was 1,000% better than last week. That's pretty good. That's a big percentage. Huge. 1,000. I never. That means you just sucked last week for him. (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't too keen with it last week anyway. I was like, what did he do? It was my prerogative. Every little little step I take, yeah. I thought he did well with that. Well, here's the thing a lot of these songs are LA reads, and it's like, okay, let's get all of LA's songs out of the way because that's why he's doing the show to let everybody know that he did it. I mean, come on. I mean, and to get paid again. Yeah, uh, again. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh. the house in the Hamptons wasn't nice enough. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I would visit that house in a day. Mm-hmm. I still think all those houses were rentals. Yeah, guaranteed. <laughs> I really they have to be. Why, yeah. yeah, why would they let people in in their homes? Like, what if you get like a psycho contestant or something? I would not let people come to my home if I was like Nicole in Malibu. Well, if it was a rental, it was a nice rental. Wait, hold on a second. Did you notice like how all of them were outside, not inside? <laughs> you didn't see any pictures. You didn't see like any no. like tacky like uh, interior decoration and you know like decor or something so i'm just like i think it might have been a rental i don't know we might have to google that one Dun, da, da, da. See, gave you guys something to think about. Uh-huh. You should have Googled that instead of done this project. You know, that would have that would have been a little smarter. You Ronnie, said. you and I are fighting I'm after like, this. Okay, next guy. I, I think it's cute. Next, next guy, guy, Astro. <laughs> don't be a hater. Astro, our little rapper um, who did Eminem. He made up his own lyrics. What the f? And I am not like, only that. He was the only contestant to give props to Joe Fraser and Heavy D. Yeah, I would, that was exactly what I had. I think, yeah, yeah. all wrote that. And he's I'm like, so how is he with all the that? only kid? He's the kid of the competition, and he's the only yeah. one that. Did well, that. I truly feel That's like these crazy. days, the the young kids are so far in advance compared to like yeah. you know their competition or whatever as far as musicians. I or, mean, if you, I mean, these kid children entertainers are so smart. I mean, he. He made sure he did a BET plug. Like, it's just kind of like, he is just, fi- like, in his rap, he found a way to throw the word BET in there. He threw all these young, yeah. uh, relevant stuff towards, like, a like to sell himself so well. And it's yeah. like, man. And Very then, smart. And then but again. like, if you're going to be rapping at all, I, uh, excuse me, uh, what's that dude's name again? Chris, Chris Renee? Renee? Yeah. Oh, that was You too, uh, definitely need to be giving props to Heavy D, period. Yeah. Like, Topical, it just happened right now. Even if you have to just. Copy mm-hmm. homeboy, whatever. Right. I mean, it's been a day. It's been forty-eight hours since Frazier passed, and and then Heavy D yesterday. I mean, and he put it all in there. I mean, yeah, that sharp. means he changed his stuff up. Like at the last, well, the, 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 last minute. I can't even this, change what I'm this, saying my, right now. So, so, <laughs> you know. I mean, he, I, I, he blows me away. I, I, I'm like speechless when it comes to this child because. He works so hard, and and I feel like I was like I saw him tonight on the red carpet, and he's on the red carpet. Even he was just poised, and 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 he had his uh, headsets on like after buzzers, Did which you know, is he so wears annoying. his earphones and or whatever. I do that not is. recommend that the, children, the please. Ones or whatever? You, yeah. Those are not accessories. Those no, are, no, <laughs> but they're wearing them. They're 
wearing them a lot. I'm a saying lot. it's not they sexy. They are? Where have I been? Oh, it yeah, is not sexy. Now, yeah. It is not. I see it at the gym. You're supposed that. to leave that at the studio. Mm-hmm. Like, um, um, get a big chain. I don't know. <laughs> he's interesting to me because uh, the young kids, I never really. It's like when they say, oh, this is so important to me. I need to have it. I need, you know, I always say, like, okay, well, you don't got to pay rent. So you don't need to have it like a, the over 30s do. Mm-hmm. But his passion, I like. I don't know. Like, his passion, I'm really connected to. It comes from a different place. I don't know. Yeah. It comes from, like, you know, some people, they say they're born to do this or whatever. He yeah. was born, born to do this. Yeah. Like, he's like, I mean, I mean, it's a big comparison, but, like, Michael Jackson started when he was that young, and he had that it factor mm-hmm. and that soul, that something. And, I mean, I wonder what this this little boy's singing voice is like. I don't. You don't? I'm, I just want him to be a rapper. Are, so, it is a, <laughs> are, wait, are it's, rappers it's, just it's, rappers, though, Marcy? Are no, they? No, are they no, just? Not everybody. Can, can they just yeah, only rap? I I do think that they are just rappers, and those ones that do the little hooks or whatever, and you know, like Diddy. Oh Jesus Christ! Like why? <laughs> Mm. Probably one of the better ones like was Renee. like Lauren Hill back in the day was a female singer and okay, rapper, she but she was wasn't a, fem- she wasn't she a great was a singer. singer. She is actually a really great. Oh, singer. you're critiquing her rap or what? No, or? she's she's great at both. Yeah, yeah, but but she's great at both. Yeah. Right, she's the exception. Yes, yeah. right, definitely. Not That's who I actually was wanting to say that a couple weeks ago. That's who I want to see a person like Lauren Hill. Oh my God, I've that's been... Misha B. Oh really? Yeah. Oh maybe you know what? I think it might have been when I saw those videos. Oh, I'm pointing to Jesse because I think he knows wait, about Misha. Misha? I Who's think Misha, oh, Misha I, is on the UK. Oh, the, the, U, the one we saw. I think that yeah. might have been where I got that concept in my head, where I was like, "Why doesn't this X Factor have like that Lauren Hill?" Just, I mean, we've been, we've had She's MTV's making it. the band could find a Lauren Hill. Where, where, I'm, where are we gonna find another Lauren Hill type of person? Because she was one of the most. I mean, just next year's X Factor. Yeah, there you go. Put there it down, go. Simon. Just because we announced it tonight on, on we make things on happen, Cat Bayless. <laughs> Let it be known on After Buzz TV we are right now. For <laughs> what, what the next say? Lauren Hill. <laughs> yeah. Um, spe- oh yeah. Speaking of rapping, Chris Renee is our next guy. I would guy. love to hear and you rap, gangster. What? <laughs> you know, should right? do the opening of the, uh, the, the after buzz, the rap. Hey Jesse, yeah. can I get some pointers? <laughs> yeah, girl. Okay. Next week, wait, ne- all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, after how about buzzer? for next week we come up with something? Okay. You'll recap tomorrow night's episode with a rap, and I'll help you. Okay. All right. Here Done. We go. So fun. Wow. Oh, my God. Gives you a nice fun reason to tune in. That was what I was missing. Okay. D- okay. Great. Cat's, Cat's a rap. Rapper. Oh, Cat's man. Rap. How great is that? <laughs> it's rap. I want rapper. that to go on YouTube. This is gonna be it's a sensation. It, oh, yeah. it's totally. It's going to go yeah. viral. We can just yeah, get we're, we're going to see viral. that. Yeah. Millions. Kind of. Sensation. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Chris it's Renee. Now, I would never be able to rap like that boy, but. And I hope you do better. Do better. Yes. And yes. He, he just keeps coming out the gate with the rap, too. Like, I need him to like do a little bit of the singing first, give us something I need to build him to up just to. Stop. Just uh, stop. I just I feel like it's a pity week. party now. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, he was better than last week. The set looked bad. Yeah. His performance but was bad. But still, it's. I didn't even think it was better than last week. Really? I just keep saying, why is he here? Oh God! So we know who you're voting for, or yeah. not? <laughs> well, so um, you know, I felt I felt like he was connected. I just, I mean, but you even said it though, Marcy. He messed up like the first like he lyric. he messed up out of the gate. But he was all like, the judges oh, I was supposed him. to start. He does try go. hard. I'll give it. Like now, he really has a lot of effort. That's my points for him. He, well, he if you're has, on X Factor, you are gonna have a lot of effort. You want to give him a yes. prize for participation? Like a no, I'm just saying. Trailer. If I, I had to be nice, you want to give him an A for effort? <laughs> no, because all the judges yeah. loved liked him. You notice, uh, like Paula was like, you just what it was. You were amazing. And well, but that's not they really, didn't really. If you say think about it, that's not bad a compliment. about yeah. anyone. You're amazing. Ain't really show. saying anything in no, depth I love about it. what you're. You channeled. Yeah. <laughs> is that Nicole? Yeah. Of I'm course. sorry. Is that like flipping channels? Like why are you seeing it? I don't understand channeling. Like come on, I, I really get it. But I'm saying it's just weird. I mean, <laughs> you channeled it. I'm like channel what? Who were you channeling? What I mean, I didn't even channeling? remember those lyrics to that song. Like the song that I know is Gangsta Paradise, and you sang some like Pastime Paradise. Yeah, thing. That's like, oh, the weird. original, uh, right? Uh, yeah, Stevie. It's a Stevie Wonder record called Pastimes Paradise back in the '70s, oh, well. and then Coolio made it big off Dangerous Minds. You should have did the Coolio oh. version because I was like, what is he? Just because he said about? Pastimes that threw you off. Um, yes. It did, but it there's a handful. There's a handful of people who love love and know the songs. So and they're not voting. Yeah. The well, people that are voting, no gangsters. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer, hello. And the theme throughout most of the show has been 
being current, yes. being contemporary, and yeah. a lot of these acts are getting these older songs. So yeah, maybe you should have done Gangsters Paradise. Oh, yeah. Gangsters, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm no, a, I know. I'm, <laughs> a white, I'm a white Latino. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That look. I just yeah, know, I'm gonna get know, that in my song the, as well. I know about the record. I used to yeah. work for uh, Coolio's manager, and th- that record almost didn't get clear. Past Times Paradise. So to me, it would have been cool to see that. But you're right. It almost America almost didn't even get to hear what Gangsters Paradise was because it almost didn't get cleared by Stevie Wonder to begin with. So Nice oh. fact. Nice. Just interesting, you know, on that level. Interesting. Or boring, whatever the case, you know. One or the other. Uh, <laughs> okay, he might be one of our uh, snoozers. So, <laughs> not you, Ronnie. Never you. It's you're okay. Too, you're too uh, much for me you over can't there. Be, you can't be perfect all the time. No, yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> you could be perfect all the time. No, I and, did and, not say that about myself. I'm just saying all. in general, people can She's be. She's from Mississippi. I see a little Mwah. chemistry between these two. It's They're very, all yeah. perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Toss, toss. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me tell you who's next. Drew. I love that they just name her Drew. That's it, mm-hmm. just Drew. Not Drew Renowitz, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> How can you say that and not Scherzinger? <laughs> <laughs> I guess because I live in L.A. and there's a lot of like... Oh, there's Jewish? A of, yeah, it's a Jewish name, right? Jew- Winowitz? It could be. Or Czechoslovakian? Or, or something? <laughs> it's, it's I don't know. It's, it's, oh, anybody, it's, actually, it's, <laughs> it's from Chino Hills, Arizona. That's there why go. it's Drew now. Or Chino Valley. Oh, this, we learned something about this child tonight. Which is? Nine kids in her classroom yeah. in high school and right now. And she should never become a stylist. Oh, never. That Ever. was her own You guys are awful. get together? Ever. It was all bad. She was channeling Gaga. Uh-huh. It, it was oh, wrong, yeah. wrong. She it, say, was, it was awful. It was, it was weird. It was weird. She looked like a peacock that was trying to... Ch- she was like channeling like... Something that it maybe like Cindy Taylor Lopper Swift would do, or it's, yeah, Cindy Lauper. I don't even know, but she sang a great little song, and I, I know she kind of sounded like she's she always does. Boring to me. It's the same every week. But it's she's great. so deep, though. I just, I mean, she's I, I like deep? that. I don't know if I would put that word in her name in the same sentence. But well, something's <laughs> going on there. Like something that she's coming. It's coming from somewhere. Like, her voice is beautiful. It's always gonna be beautiful. But she's just boring. It's like once she's sang one song, you've heard her sing. Every song. But a lot of artists are doing it, and that's what we've been saying. So, I mean, is that a fault of the show that we're going to have, like, seven or eight more weeks of this, and and they're all going to be going to their strong suits of of singing? It's going to be, like, the same tempo of song, and we're going to say the same thing every week about Drew. Here's the thing. Like, they should just have her do a Taylor Swift song. I bet you she would kill kill it it. in her version. Kill it. And they're trying to scare her away from that, and it's like, well, why? That's what she's going to be really good at. Like, um, and people would really so connect with her. Than, yeah, they would connect with her and really, really like her for that. And they have her doing Coldplay. Nobody wants to hear Coldplay sing in that voice. <laughs> she sang "Fix <laughs> You." you <laughs> in that voice. <laughs> Oh, she did Southern on me. She went on Southern. Now, Drew. <laughs> Southern with the mix of Marcy. Uh, with <laughs> she marcified it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't. Th- I can't think of the, that combination right now. I was gonna try to make up something in my head. Um, but <laughs> Drew, she's gonna make it very far, y'all. She's she one will. of America's favorites, and I feel like honestly they are so pushing her because what Simon said tonight, he's like, and the one and only Drew. You know what I mean? That's uh, that's enough for me to go. Oh, okay, they're plugging her. They're plugging Melanie. They have people that they. I really feel like they're plugging Melanie. Yeah. Oh, big yeah. time. Well, she's like, hello. Well, and Rachel. Cro- her yeah. transformation, Melanie's transformation. Oh my God. It's in, it's and it's so quick. She looks so homely, like in the package. Mm-hmm. I know. And you're like, what's happening? Is that a package? It's like two different people, yeah. And then she gets on stage, and you're like, oh, who is this person? She's beautiful. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I mean, she really is. They, they. She is a poster child for CoverGirl or Revlon or wait, maybe maybe it's Maybelline. Yes, yeah. that one. Yeah. Did maybe you, she's born with it. Nah, that that stuff's Maybelline. Did you see? <laughs> did you see? <laughs> <laughs> did you see her? Um. The T-shirts they have for her in her hometown yeah, in Coral cute. Springs, even the T-shirt, she's got this like unique look about her. I just see star. I see star written on her. She looks amazing. Shoot. When they put her together, mm-hmm. it's just like like that's she's so, she reminds so me of top model or that's something. That's so fun for the uh, contestants that come from these smaller, you know, little towns because they really do roll it out and make it like the Melanie Day. Uh-huh. Um, versus if you grew up, in, like, if you're in LA, they're like I remember watching cares? Idol yeah, when when what, what's, what's the girl that ended up being Sorry, blonde? McPhee. Um, yeah, that's McPhee. exactly who I was talking about. Oh, really? That's it. Wow. She, oh, she came, Sherman she, Oaks. She came yes. from the valley, and it was like I think I remember watching that that package they edited together, and I'm like, okay, Vera Gosa showed up, but it's like no one cared really. No. It was, and it was, he was just showing up. 
up to get some t- air time. The mayor. Yeah. Said, oh, wow. How are, yeah, how are you going to really make this a big L.A. day when you have, like, Magic Johnson's over there and so and so? You know, it's like, it was, yeah. it was very funny. So Small but, towns uh, win in this situation. Well, yeah, of course. Um, so Melanie, of course, is from a small town, and she's saying... We was going to Melanie. She's saying, "This is it, man in the mirror." Mm-hmm. Um, good. Michael amazing. Jackson. Really good. Amazing. Yes. She I always her. gives me chills. I mean, come on, like give me a blanket. Like this girl's retarded. She's I just the thought best the staging. vocalist in this competition. It's, the best. This, I thought the staging was just beautiful. Just the whole setup. Yeah. I, mean, I liked seeing the words. The, that was that was that a, was a big get awesome. for me. It's like what yeah. I wanted to already see, and boom, it came. So there you go. There was words like, "What are they? What were some of them? Um, prejudice," and then it dissolved. Um, Anger. I don't. I can't remember all of them. But depression. Yeah, depression. It was just all these uh, hot button issues, so to speak. It's like I could see her. I could see myself being in a concert, listening yeah. to her sing that song. Yeah, me just too. that performance. She has the X factor for sure, for me. And she was the one that was X out at the beginning, and they, they brought that her back. That's what I'm saying. It's so yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm like, come on. They did that on purpose. She scratches on her hair, and like I, I know everything. So it was like a producers meeting. Yeah. I they was were like, like so listen, this is what we should do. Yeah, the best girl. We're gonna throw her out. We're gonna make sign. Yeah, that is a thing. Mm-hmm. She's amazing. Though. She's but okay, really maybe amazing. they did it on purpose, but she didn't know. No, she probably didn't. know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the contestants don't have a say so, <laughs> Contestant, this is a. No, you know she was at the on, house. On a puppet, about right? You know, puppet girls strings. get through and I didn't. Oh, uh, well, Rachel Crow is the last contestant of the night, and I know why they saved her, because save the last, I mean, the best for last. This, that little she's a chick. little old woman. Yeah. I don't we call think her she's Estelle really 13. Or Gertrude. I think yeah. this you is think like a 60 year old woman <laughs> <laughs> who looks really young. Well, she is adopted, which. <laughs> You know, there's something there's something special I, I've always felt about you know kids that are adopted because yeah, they're no, special they to begin to be. with. She was a crack baby, right? Yeah. Gosh, I know we read that. Today. I think she was like Cracked Aretha baby Franklin's good. child that she gave up or something. Like this child comes from like some huge singer or somebody that's like. <laughs> I, like we do, I do want to know who the parents are. What I know because you know her mom. They're going to come back. You know her yeah. mom is yeah. at that's the house awesome. talking about. Look, I'm sober, baby. Let me have you back. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. this is going to turn into like oh, and then the real parents are going to be like oh no. It's going to turn into Losing Isaiah, X Factor Edition. Seriously. It's still my baby. I'm my baby baby. <laughs> this is a made-for-TV movie. <laughs> She's no, amazing. Was it Simon though. that called her like a Beyonce? We called it first. Another team. Like, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's another show. Oh. <laughs> wow, they even coordinate. This is amazing. <laughs> we have, we came up with chemistry. No, 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 no. Like, Ronnie and I came up with three shows oh, last oil week. And water. We right. trademarked three shows last week. And it's tough. Let me tell you. Uh, oh, we'll people switch next week. You'll see the chemistry it's over It's so here. tough <laughs> to sit next to her because she's so on camera. is so good looking. And then there's me. I feel like it's looking at Melanie before and Melanie after. I'm like, way I to notice pump it. yourself up there. No, I noticed it last week. He needs some words behind him. Get on so- Unnecessary roughness. <laughs> <laughs> no, at the end of the day, it's a compliment about her. That's it. Thank we need some you. words behind Thank Ronnie you. dissolving behind I know, I know. I Self-esteem. Know. Yes. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm excellent. I'm just calling out a beautiful girl next to me. That's it. Aww. That's all that is. That's all that is. Shoot, where's the Ronnie, powder again? Or that's, all, that's all that is, Marcy. Marcy Alago on Twitter. <laughs> nice. Ooh, I love. Working it in. So Rachel Crow say I think Beyonce sang this song in Cadillac Records. Um, it's got "I'd Rather Be Blind," mm-hmm. and it's a very it's a mature great song. song. I love Extremely. that song. Extremely, and she channels like this old ass woman. Like <laughs> it's amazing. Mm-hmm. amazing. I loved the rendition. don't change that channel. <laughs> well, remember the last few weeks she was doing those little up tempo things. Yeah, those those are not. That's not her. No, I don't. And she purposely I, I dressed read, like Annie. Like I can't, I can't stop that and go here. And, yeah. and the outfit. red eyeliner oh, last Jesus week. Oh, yeah. And this is the only time that we because every week she doesn't her legs don't move. Apparently no. she doesn't move on the on the okay. podium. This was the one That's week okay. where it matched. It felt yeah, good. It was, it was okay. okay. For her to be and I made the comment, room. but you were kind of saying it was because last time it didn't make sense because there was people dancing around her and she was and she's just like yeah so now i get i get where that was well here's the thing she needs to be the focus and i feel like last week she wasn't the focus of that that number it was like okay i'm singing in front of with all these kids dance around me no you just sing by yourself and, and child were the kids supposed to be like cutesy kids it's like how could you have cutesy kids when you're the cutesy kid like that yeah. doesn't yeah yeah, yeah. Um, her but, outfit still, Jesus! I just want to like, can I take her to Forever Twenty One or something? Oh, you're, yeah. you're not. You're, I, yeah, seriously, let me do her. Well, I, like her heels. Heels. I like her. I like her heels. Much. I saw that she had them big old Lady Gaga heels on that heels. little thirteen year old. No, <laughs> and the plaid, the plaid dress does not. And the polka dot things. It was a plaid I like or polka the heels. Dot, whatever. I, like the heels. I, I loved the hair. 
I thought the hair was cute. She looked like an I artist's name. I'm going to need them to flat iron her hair. Oh, just you, one so week. You want, yeah, just yeah. one week. Just to change it. Um, so I, don't, it I like, wasn't really a fan of last you know, week's. With maybe the, all back one week. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be cute. She doesn't have a big forehead. Like. Yeah. I love, okay, I have to say it again. The picture they always show at the beginning. Oh, the one where she's like, like yes. she looks like, you know, the modern so day, like, uh, little Shirley Temple. That's going to be her album you know? cover. Like a Cindy Lauper or something. Be. It should be her so little cute. album cover or it is her going selling to be. her. It is. She's going to end up with like a I'm obsessed. teen makeup line or she's just so set. Her and Astro, she's her and Astro should set. date. <laughs> you know, just Can you like, imagine what those kids would look like? Oh. We all pause. <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't been a dead moment until then. No, but we okay. always, like last week we said she'd be great for Disney, but the way she just stepped it up this week, I mean, she she's was amazing. phenomenal. I, I thought she was the best. I can't wait to see her in a year when they make her lose weight and get her style together. Mm -hmm. Well, she's already reported she's losing weight. She has lost like 15 pounds, and she says she wants to stay there because mm. people are already criticizing okay. her losing so much weight so quickly. Here's the, yeah, well, well, the other thing, too. That? Well, the other thing, she's, she's so young. Exercising, that's good. Yeah. And it's like, that's baby fat. She's it's so cute when you're that age to it's be. It's not cute anymore, though, when you're like 19. No, or it's 17. not. Because then it becomes a problem, and then you you become a problem with yourself, too. Like, she might have, you know, issues with, you know, hopefully not. Hopefully she'll never have that, you know, anorexia or, like, bulimia or whatever. That, that does come along with stars and trying to, but, you, you know, know. What is it? 75% of America is, like, obese? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, wonder, maybe they need a I, pop star I, I, like everybody else. I wonder huh? if yeah. she'll have And a, they do have them. What, what, genetically, like, she's got to have addiction issues, possibly. I mean, right? I just I was kind of Whoa. thinking of that. Well, no, I, I mean, mean, I know she's a 14 year old. I'm just be, saying potentially. She is that too be much? Is that too, a, a cat, to that, is that too much? Is that too much? Let's not put that in the universe for that little girl. <laughs> <laughs> is that too much? Um, I, I just hope she has an addiction to being fabulous and. And not worrying about what anyone else says because yeah. she, she is, is adorable. She is her own little person. And the other thing too, um, her she's personality. A role model. Yeah, she's a role model. But I also feel like, you know, even if okay, she just goes up there and sings. If we no one, if, if we just watched the, the show first time tonight and watched her sing, we really we don't know her personality. And do you think watching she's her vocally? I think she's vocally getting better. She is like every, she's getting more control. She's like. Yeah. Cool, I, I, yeah. I, I love I love her presence in different elements. When she's getting judged, she goes to a more humble, quiet listening. Where some of them they just like talk over the judges, which I kind of don't like. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it's time to do the red carpet, back to like. I, and I feel she's like savvy. that's such a quality that is either just her natural savviness or whatever. But mm -hmm. it's a quality that's so good for television and mm -hmm. so good for walking these red carpets. Humble when she needs to, lay back because she doesn't really say much when she's getting judged. She's like very like. Okay, thank she you. She probably has a good PR team already or something. You know, I'm just saying. She's I been have, like that I have to since say, the very beginning. Yeah. Just when, but when tonight, when I think it was Nicole, and she was like, by the way, Simon, um, the outfit or whatever, or the, or the song choice or something about her. She's like, oh, by the way, I picked it out. What was it? What was it? Oh, the, the song, oh, song choice. The song, uh, song choice, yeah. yeah. She's I picked it out. To pick out that kind of song and to be that young and to actually, I mean, that child... Well, I mean, if she saw Cadillac Records and Beyonce did it, of course she'd pick that song. And then she's like, I yeah. want to be like Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> she she's amazing. She's, she's amazing. And, she's um, one of my favorites. She and is. she's from Colorado. Woo woo. woo, -woo. Mm -hmm. I know my brother was there. <laughs> did there were 3.8 million tweets today. Yeah, I think it was double, not double, but uh, like a 50% increase for over last week because really? I remember it was like 2.4 million. So people are really getting into it now. Yeah, so. they yeah, because now they get to vote. So once you get to vote, you have more of an opinion, I think. Um, so who do you think they're going to vote for? All right, let's give our predictions then. Yeah. Okay, predictions on the the bottom two. The bottom yes. two. Yeah. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I'm at first. I'm at first. JC. I'll, I'll go. Oh. Uh, what, New oh. to the table, you have to go first. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You made it to the Fine. table. You're picking the rookie. I'm going to say Chris Renee twice. Wow. Oh, wow. I just I just didn't feel it compared to, yeah. I, I don't know who else I can say bottom two. Um, I'm just saying Chris Renee and. I have mine. <laughs> I want it to be yeah. um, Chris Renee and Stacey. Yeah, it's I don't know about Stacy. I, I like Stacy so much at the beginning, so it's it's a letdown that she's just kind of crashing and burning. She's crashing and burning. Uh, but but I don't think she could need to go you right away. I think a Chris um, could go. She or, said she's uh, had Le lots Leroy. of opportunities that haven't amounted to anything. <laughs> she That's said what? That's so true. She's had lots of opportunities that haven't amounted to anything. 
Oh. Well, she's disputing so those true. charges already. And she I says think, it's a war with her and Perez Hilton. And I guess Perez, Perez is killing her. Have you I, been reading the things yeah. that he's been saying? I know, but I gotta go is, check that, that out. That is wearing on her. Like, really? I feel like she is that not. That has to wear on anybody. I'm just. He is cold. Well, like, she's saying that he um, that um, that Perez is actually talking to her ex husband. He tw- and he the- tweets her every day. You really? suck and like all kinds of Ooh. just really. I thought he went back bullying. to being really because remember how Why he was. He it was very. Such an he ass. was very negative for a very long time. And when the anti bullying uh, came about, oh. Ellen, who actually doesn't like him at all, invited him to her show. Um, to and, and, and he Mm-mm. and Ellen wasn't even into like well, I really don't want you here. But what's your your statement? And he was saying because so many kids were committing suicide or whatever, teen suicide or whatever, bullying that he go on his he, Twitter. That, no, no, that's yeah. what I'm saying. This is what's weird. Yeah. At that point, this was maybe close to eight months ago, he went on there and vowed to, on Ellen's show that he was not going to be uh, malicious anymore on his site. And I really feel like at that exact point, that's when people stopped going to Perez Hilton. So now I'm thinking, like, is he Mm-mm. going back to his he old ways? He's going off on her. Because that's not... He, he actually did tone I'm gonna it down. I'm going to have to look at the tweets now. He is going off. I was just like, oh my goodness. Just, well, wow. who... Okay, so if he wants to be involved with X Factor and, you know, he wants to be involved with their fans, that's who right. else is he going to pick to pick on? He was dying to be on that show. He was to, he dying was to be on... He was campaigning. He wanted to be on X Factor? Yeah. He always wanted to be an American be judge. Idol judge. He'd have, like, all that stuff. I do remember So that. is it Sour Grapes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He is hating no, on Stacey. No, it's just malicious and stupid, and maybe he was, like, I'm I thinking. mean, it's one thing to say, okay, she's whatever, or you feel like she lied, but, like, he is just going in on her. Is it, is it personal, and then all, the, the husband comes involved, and, yeah. He keeps calling her a liar. I mean, like, he, uh, oh, I mean, just blatantly degrading her, like, on Twitter and stuff. It's not cool. So she, do you think she, maybe that actually might help her now? Because, you know, we've been railing on her a little bit, but now well, you think she might get a little a bit of... Business, a good Clearly, it's not helping her. I, I think she's going to go early. I okay. really do. I don't think that she... I mean, I think she's a beautiful singer. She sings and well. she's great. And she I just have a career in something. You can't compete. 42-year-old in this competition cannot compete with these 14-year-olds well, that are unless you're I say that the this particular 42-year-old can't compete with those people. I think there are people that probably could, but not this one. I don't know. I might have disagreed. Like just just because of this competition, it's so young. I feel like America wants a young person, just like American Idol. They did, well, but didn't, who but votes that's young what girls? People feed but but Marcy, into, you know? but but America's Got Talent or whatever. I heard that I didn't watch it, but there was like a, an older gentleman, whatever, that won that, right? Was it an older guy or somebody that was kind of like who was amazing? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the guy, black guy with dreads. Yes, and yeah. Like Frank Sinatra. He, he was in his thirties. Yeah. yeah, like early thirties. Um, gosh, what was his name? Because they're saying uh, a lot of people are saying that Philip mm-hmm. Lomax was copying his style. The guy who got booted off of uh, like two weeks ago from X Factor. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's check that out. Well, okay. Who, who, did you picture too? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay. What about you? Um, it would be uh, Chris Renee's strong opinion to be the first. I really want him to go. But uh, I could put, like, Leroy maybe as the next one. Yeah, those two would be my bottom two. I think um, Stacy and um, and Chris. But the thing is, is uh, um, the group, the guy group, the Stereo uh, Hogs. I know. I feel bad for them because their song just sucks. I feel like if they were already in the bottom two, they're probably going to be in the yeah. bottom two again because they didn't, they didn't, they didn't wow They didn't you. give it right. again. Like, and that, that was a bad song choice. I'm sorry. I thought they did the same thing on when they were going to be eliminated, when it was up, them against Intensity. They were, like, so dead on that BG song. I, I didn't feel any energy from them. And that's yeah. when, when Simon even said, if we're going on what the performance tonight, I'm voting, I'm voting the stereo to be You're booted. right. It's like what she was saying. Why don't they just go with what they're strong at? Like, I'm saying, let's yeah. do a new edition song. Why? What? The, B, the Bee Gees and a Christina Aguilera song? Are they, like, you're on the bubble and those are the choices you're making? <laughs> I want to hear harmony. But are they choosing their chat songs yeah, or a, is Paula choosing their songs? I think it's Paula. Well, I don't know because, like, obviously Simon is, I mean, Simon is letting these tiny girls Pick their own songs. Yeah, but he's letting them pick their yeah, own songs. Yeah, he calls it. He is. Trust, he's trusting be. them. And every rule for Simon's different and, <laughs> than yeah, the rest of the right. competition. And she might not be letting her groups pick, pick I'm going to add songs. it. I'm going to add Stereo Hogs and Chris Renee. I remember I was just giving you yeah. Chris Renee twice. I think Stereo Hogs, even though I like them, I think they could I be really so like much. But I do too. And they're cute. They're cute that. guys. Yeah, oh, they're not. Cute ones. Well, they like look cute together. They you do know? Look cute you together. do want to see the boy band dance element, so that's what they need to do. That's what they need to do for next yeah, week. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear them sing. I just feel like we. 
I actually didn't think that the main guy was that strong vocally tonight. No. I felt like it I was want really some weak. Some of the other guys to sing. Yeah, like, I know. What's the point of having five men in a, in a group? And yeah, I just think that else. maybe it's because he's such a stronger singer than the Doesn't other four. Doesn't matter. They, I just think that we need like, to be the judges. A little bit. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're a bunch, yeah. we're kind of salty. We're so good. Yeah. I always say, I always say, the show does not need to be a two-hour show on Fox. They need to do like an hour and a half, and then they need to plug mm. right into this show. As yeah, the, that will make a solid two-hour show. I like, the people's I've, I've X Factor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, I agree. Dial in live, you know. The whole well, y'all, thing. I think that's a wrap for tonight, and um, I, I look forward to seeing tomorrow night and see who they're gonna Me gonna too. pick because. It is tough right now because obviously we did not pick the right ones last week. Uh, Jessica all. did. Go, uh, girl, girl. Go, she go. only picked them, though, because she hated them. <laughs> and Tink <Tinkley>. today. <laughs> she was like, this is my wish list. Where is she at anyway? Yeah, we, we yeah where are you, girlfriend? She's playing uh, How Well Do You Know Your Dakotas at Home. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's sweeping the nation. Uh, that game is sweeping, sweeping the nation. Speaking yeah. of how well you know your Dakotas, I need you to move your... Uh, your little game piece. I know where I'm not <laughs> wanted. As we go out, I have another UK X Factor. Oh, this is a good uh, Oh, contact, good. Good contestant. end of the show. Her name is Janet Devlin. Um, she's 15 years old. They love her because she has, doesn't have the greatest voice, but literally she can... You can hear a pin drop when she yeah, sings. She's she has a really haunting, eerie voice. But uh, Kat, I want you to intro... I mean, uh, end the show out, and we'll go out with this. Okay, darling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet pea. Go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now you made me all nervous. I'm kidding. No. Sorry, y'all, man. thank y'all so much for listening to us tonight. Us crazy people yeah. over here at After Buzz TV. Join us next week, next Wednesday at 10 p.m. with Jesse and Marcy and JC and Ronnie and Melissa and Michelle <laughs> and whoever <laughs> else we get Ronnie, Ricky, here. and Mike. Yeah. And Jessica. All of New Edition will be here. <laughs> uh, no, it was a great show tonight. I actually, you know, even though we did bash a lot, um, we do love the show and we do love the singers and, and, and everything about it. And I can't wait to see uh, the progress. So, woohoo! <laughs> Let's go see this X Factor in England. Pumpkin in a pumpkin. See, now that's a cool outfit with the hair. That's a. She the looks. Okay. X Factor does such a better job. She's got it together. Imagine watching her and then Stacy. Uh. <laughs> it's funny because didn't you say someone performed Fix You by Coldplay tonight? Yeah. Was it Drew? It was Drew. Mm-hmm. So there you it go. sounds totally different. It does. I'm mesmerized. I mean, this girl's like a, a beauty, though. Like, she's like... Ethereal. Yes. Oh, you see what I mean when I said Drew was boring singing this? Yes. She's interesting. You know, I feel like, because we've seen so much of Drew, so to see her sing that tonight, too, it just kind of was like, again, like, again. No. Yeah. They just need to go ahead and let it's her do Taylor Swift. step up. All right. That's it. The hook. That's it. That's the night, y'all. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. See you later. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. 
And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.